I met this guy on Facebook. He looks so perfect. He flew down to hang out with me for the weekend. I usually don't do that. It's hard to trust people nowadays, but he seemed from our conversation normal. So he flew down. We spent an amazing weekend. I thought I was right. I thought he was perfect until he would just lay there and not touch me. I thought that was weird because he said he had moved on from his divorce and had other relationship. Come to find out he hadn't touched another woman and he lied. And also came to find out that he couldn't get a heart on. So I was here trying to get to know him. It was awkward. And he said he wasn't ready for commitment. Duh. Dating at 40. This is it. This is how we do it. This is the beginning. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I have no... It sounded like a fart. Shit. Okay, so you're this? Yeah. But you want this? Yeah. Okay, so in order to get that, you'd have to do this. <laughs> Guys, watching these girls out here try and date, you know, try and get a relationship, try and get a husband is honestly quite hilarious, okay? Because they leave it until it's too late. You run into all these girls, guys, who, you know, they're 30 plus years old, they've got kids, and then they sit there crying about, you know, why won't a dude commit to me? Why can't I find a guy who's going to take me seriously? When these girls have not been taking themselves seriously their entire damn lives. Gentlemen, on today's show, we're going to be going through a few stories of girls who have just failed at dating. Right? Society will try and tell you that girls can never fail at anything, guys. Uh, but let me tell you something. These girls who get to this age... Um, they failed. They absolutely did, guys. They haven't got a man, and uh, they're on, you know, on TikTok crying about the fact that men don't want to commit to them anymore. But the thing is, men have wisened up, right? Particularly dudes who have gotten older. They've been through this thing, you know, a few times, or maybe you've been through a few relationships. You've been through a, a divorce or two. You know, you see what happens to other men, and a lot of men are saying, you know what? I'm not going to commit to a girl especially one that's this age and, you know, got kids in tow with the attitude. And, uh, you know what, girls, I mean, guys, excuse me, uh, these girls are going to be left out on the street. But what is going on, guys? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video. And on today's show, guys, we're going to be going through some of the TikToks that you gentlemen have sent, sent into the show, as well as answering a Patreon question and looking at a few stories. So without further ado, guys, we got a bunch to get into today. Let's take a look at some of these clips and don't forget to leave your comments as we go through. Where do you live? In the city. Do you have a house? Apartment. On a rent? Rent. What do you do for a living? Lots of things. Where's your office? I don't have one. How come? I don't need one. Where's your wife? Don't have one. How come? It's a long story. Do you have kids? No, I don't. How come? It's an even longer story. Are you my dad's brother? What's your record for consecutive questions asked? 38. You gotta love how these girls think that they now have the luxury of asking all of these questions. Right? A lot of girls get the rude awakening, guys, where um, they think that they can continue pressuring a guy. It's like, oh, yeah, I need this, 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 and this. And the guy's like, yeah, you know, maybe. And then she cries when she gets played. It's like nobody wants to give you your laundry list of demands because what does the man get in return? Right? I really wish men would start asking themselves this question more often, guys. I see a lot of dudes out here who are, quite frankly, being a little bit too selfless. Right, going out here doing these things for these girls that don't deserve it and rarely ever turning around and asking the question, what do I get out of the situation? Because make no mistake, guys, these girls are asking those questions. You know, they're asking, what do I get out of it? So I don't I don't know, man. Why aren't the guys out here asking the same question in return? You know, why would I date a single mother? Why would I date a person who's 30 plus years of age and still hasn't managed to secure a single relationship going over a year and a half? Right? No, I don't. How come? It's an even longer story. Are you my dad's brother? What's your record for consecutive questions asked? 38. When a man is inconsistent, say this. Hey, I really enjoy spending time with you, but I realize that the type of relationship we have is not healthy for me and is not meeting my needs. I want to be with someone that shows up consistently and wants to be in a committed relationship. And I don't feel that this is happening here. Okay, bye. 
right the the answer is just you know simply buy you know guys girls will try and play this game i think i mentioned this like on the last episode right but girls will frequently say crap like this they'll be like oh you know i'm not sure we should talk anymore or my needs aren't being met uh, my needs aren't being met um okay bye right goodbye you you had your chance for all of these things and a lot of guys seem to get the idea in their head that they, they need to change for women guys do not change for women okay if you're going to make any change make it for yourself okay Th this is the the crap and one of the reasons why i say go to the gym for yourself guys and crap like that is because if you're going for girls if you're going you know doing these things changing your life around um for other people it's not going to become a routine it's going to be difficult for you to actually do right don't be going out here changing yourself for these girls guys if you want to make a change make it for yourself that way you can at least have it for the long term all right and make sure it's a good change a lot of these girls guys they'll they'll try and make you change in such a way that's not advantageous for your life at all right i'll just be you know just be more emotionally available connect with your emotions more it's like how the how the hell are you supposed to get anything done you know i man i just never understand this crap hey i met this guy on facebook he looks so perfect he flew down to hang out with me for the weekend i usually don't do that it's hard to trust people nowadays but he seemed from our conversation normal <laughs> right it's always interesting when they open up the line of conversation like oh he you know he was my dream guy or he seemed too perfect and stuff like this and then by the end of the story she's like ah oh, i got ghosted you know foiled again right it's like you, you can literally see this from the get-go a lot of these girls like for instance they'll get with like dudes on instagram who are fitness influencers you know who've got like a, a fantastic physique a guy who's got a lot of money and they'll be like oh he's so perfect you know he's he's you know he's my prince charming uh, even though he's he's probably not right he's probably just given her a couple of compliments but because it comes from a guy like that they're just head over heels for the dude right and then they're like wait a minute he didn't want to commit to me no, he, he didn't. Because the question is, why would he? So he flew down. We spent an amazing weekend. I thought it was right. I thought he was perfect. Until he would just lay there and not touch me. I thought that was weird because he said he had moved on from his divorce and had other relationship. Come to find out he hadn't touched another woman and he lied. And also came to find out that he couldn't get a heart on. Okay, let's pause it there. This guy has gone through a divorce. Um, I'm su a lot of guys who go through divorces, man, I'm surprised they even want to go out here and talk to these girls for the next period of time in their life, right? I don't, I don't know how dudes do it, man. Like a lot of guys, they get run through the divorce courts. And again, this is another reason why men don't want to date older women, guys, is because we are, I think we might have pulled up marriage statistics uh, in a video, uh, maybe a couple of videos ago. But one of the thing, uh, one of the things that you'll notice in relationships as well as marriages is the more marriages an individual has, or the more relationships an individual has, particularly women guys, um, the less successful they're likely to be. In other words, if a girl goes out here and she has forty six, you know, casual fun times, which she doesn't end up counting, and then she expects number forty seven to be her long term prince charming relationship it's not going to work out like that because she can never be happy anyway you see what i'm saying guys like uh, you know but the thing is a lot of guys they they go through these situations um you know they, they get they get all their crap taken man sometimes the kids i'm surprised they even want to deal with these girls man but the point is girls who get to this age they're bad investments right because if they were a good investment they'd be you know they'd be happily married with kids by now that's not to say that they have to have kids if they don't have kids it's whatever okay but you know a, a girl who who has actually done dating right is going to have a a long-term partner fairly early on because dating is not difficult for women guys i don't care how many times they get on here and cry on tiktok man dating is not hard for girls it's literally like playing a game on easy mode i i you know they're, they're their own worst enemies, essentially. So I was here trying to get to know him. It was awkward. And he said he wasn't ready for commitment. Duh. Dating at 40. 
this is it. This is how we do it. This is the beginning. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I have no... It sounded like a fart. Shit. Okay. It's very interesting, right? How these girls will get... Man, they'll get to age 40 plus and then they'll start realizing like, oh, maybe I should t start dating, you know, taking dating seriously, excuse me. Right? Oh, now's the time I need to, you know, put on my boots and do some work here and actually you know, find a long-term relationship. And a lot of the guys are going, no, 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 sorry. You chose the streets to the streets you shall return, okay? Guys, girls who wait to 30 and 40 to try and lock down a relationship, it's disgusting. It, it, it absolutely is, man. Like, the, they could have got their relationship so many years ago, guys. But yeah, what they want to do is they want to come out here and try and manipulate a man into a relationship. That that guy who comes along and gets into a relationship with these girls, he has no business being there, right? Because he was not her first choice. You see what I'm saying? It's like these girls, they get to this age and then they, they go out and they choose a different quality of man. You know, the guy who... Um, still believes in this womanist narrative, the guy who's built himself up, maybe he's got some money. Okay, this is why, like, guys, a lot of girls, man, I wish I was lying when I said this to you guys watching this video right now. A lot of these girls will go after divorced men, right? Because they know all they have to do is treat him just the slightest bit nice and, you know, and it's going to be a complete contradiction to his ex-wife who just took all of his money or half of it, right? And so a lot of these girls treat them as, as meal tickets. If you're a dude and you've got your stuff together, quite honestly, you have a target on your back a lot of the time. Shit. Okay, so you're this? Yeah. So if you guys didn't read that at the bottom, it said, I think it said, but, wait, we'll play it again. Okay, so you're this? Uh, single, 31 years old, no kids and never married. Single at 31 years of age, guys, you know. Uh, if we could just be honest with these TikToks, right? Honest with these videos. A girl does not get to 31 years of age, especially like this girl's not bad looking by any stretch of the imagination, guys. This girl, to get to 31 years of age and remain single, you have to be absolutely clueless to get to that situation. You have to be genuinely clueless. You, you see, like, this is the age where, like, you, you have no excuses, which is fine. Just don't behind, hide behind them. Like, oh, I can't find a good man or, you know, dating is just so hard. It's not hard for you. It hasn't been hard for you for the past, like, 12, 13 years. Okay, let's not kid ourselves here. Yeah, but you want this. Yeah. So it says that she wants a husband, she wants a family, she wants house with land and baby animals. Gee, I wonder who's going to be paying for that house with land, by the way, guys. Um, yeah, but okay, she wants a husband at 31 years of age. She wants a family at 31 years of age. Man, the idea that girls can just push this off and push this off, a lot of them, I tell you what, they're in for a rude awakening when they can't have kids anymore, when the men don't want them because they're 30 plus years old, disagreeable with tons of baggage right and uh why would a guy man the idea that men go out here and buy these girls houses with land disturbs me guys it deeply disturbs me don't be buying these 30 plus year old women a house and land package because now they figure it's time to settle down that's disgusting nobody wants to talk about this manipulation of men ever by the way like no, nobody wants to talk about this these girls are out here literally preying on dudes right to get them to buy houses to buy this to buy that like yeah just get with a dude run him down to the bank get him to get the largest mortgage you can and uh go from there right okay so in order to get that you'd have to do this <laughs> and what that said at the end guys if you didn't catch that is it said participate in dating which she doesn't seem to want to do say what you just said say it again prince charming's on the way yeah yeah, yeah. But I'm already annoyed by the lack of hustle. Prince, Prince Charming, I believe uh, my editor got these all from, um, like, from dating over 40. Like, uh, from, like, these are, like, dating over 40 TikToks or dating over 30 TikToks, right? Uh, your Prince Charming has been long, you know, he's long gone. You, you've already encountered your Prince Charming, like, four or five times, six, seven, who knows how many times. But you just figure, ah, uh, you know, maybe I can just upgrade and get the bigger and better deal. Annoyed by the lack of hustle. 
want to clarify something real quick about dating multiple people. If you are fresh out of a new relationship, you should be dating multiple people at once. If you're looking to find a boyfriend or a girlfriend or just some type of serious relationship, but not marriage, date multiple people at once. You know, I, I've been saying this for a while now, guys. Um, every time you talk to a woman, please do not think that you're the only guy that she's talking to or seeing. Like, guys, don't get this idea in your head like, oh, she's only talking to me. She seems interested in me. I'm the only guy she's talking to. Let me let me tell you what happens at the beginning of relationships, okay? Women have multiple people on the go at once. You know, they've got... Okay, first of all, they've got the guys that they're friend zoning, right? And I don't care how many times these girls deny the fact that the friend zone exists. It absolutely does. Next, they got the dudes who, you know, they want to they wanna have a relationship with, but they really can't because, it, you know, he's not giving her a relationship. Uh, but, you know, she's still having bedroom fun with those guys. And then she's got the dudes who, you know, she, she's got the, the layer in between those two things. The guys who won't give her commitment, um, the guys who give her too much commitment, and then she's got the guys in the middle. Chances are, if you're a dude who's got a good head on his shoulders, you're, you're probably going to be in, uh, you know, one of the later two categories. But anyway, these girls will be out here seeing multiple dudes at, at, at a given time. You'll get into a relationship with a girl and she'll still be having these uh, these text messages, these Instagram messages, these threads open with these dudes while you're in a relationship. A lot of guys get really blindsided and we might not have time to cover the story today, but a lot of guys get blindsided by the fact that, you know, you can go on two, three, four, five, six dates with a girl and she can, you know, you guys can be boyfriend and girlfriend by that point, like have had the exclusivity talk, but she'll sleep with that guy one more time just, to, you know, just after you've gone a few dates into your relationship and she won't mention that. Right, like guys, you would not believe how common this crap is. A lot of you guys think that you get a girlfriend and then that's it. No, she, she's she got those dudes still in her inbox the moment the relationship starts. Okay, guys, if you don't believe me, man, there'll be dudes in the comments. Dudes in the comments, like maybe they won't drop a comment. Maybe they will. Um, But there are dudes out there who literally... You know, they'll be having bedroom fun with your girl right up until the point that she commits to you. You see what I'm saying? And they and the dudes who see this, they see it happen. They're like, "Oh, Stacy's gone. Oh well, I got you know, I got three other girls anyway. It doesn't really matter." But she'll be out of a relationship in a few months, and she'll come crawling back. There are dudes in the comments who know exactly what I'm talking about, right there, guys. However, if you are looking for marriage and the other person that you have gone on a date with is also looking for marriage, you only date that person because in that type of relationship, you're not dating, you're courting, and there's a difference. Yeah, now you have a purpose because you're running out of time. That doesn't make it, uh, that's just disgusting. That, that entire TikTok is absolutely disgusting. I really just let a medium ugly man make me sit here all day wondering if he's going to text me. What's wrong with me? And that's that, gentlemen. You know, some of these things that we cover on the shows, guys, like I really have absolutely no words. You know, some of the clips that we watch, I feel like, man, I didn't even have to provide commentary for. They just provide the commentary for themselves. But guys, we got a couple of stories that we're going to be jumping into today. So let me just pull up. Oh, no, we have a couple of articles. Maybe we'll do the stories at another time. Uh, but my uh, my editor wanted me to cover a couple of these um, with with just the question. No, we'll do the articles. We'll do the articles. All right, so let's take a look at this. We've got an article here titled 40 and dating as a single parent. What I've learned and how I found the one. And this is written by a woman named Tanya Hales, uh, blah, 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 in 2020. I feel like dating used to be so simple. People meet, they arrange a time and a place, and hopefully it turns into happily ever after. Fast forward to now, where almost nothing is face to face anymore, especially after this year, especially this year, excuse me. Apps may, may have given me the world at my fingertips, but dating never felt harder. Throw in being a single parent and the stresses and pressures are that much heavier. However, now I know that with some thinking and planning, the end result could le lead to deleting all of those apps. I met my current partner online, Twitter of all places. Man, if there are some cesspits on the internet, guys, let me tell you something. Twitter has to be like ranked up there and definitely the top three. I dislike that platform with a passion, guys. Like that is the platform where like, you, you, you just go to lose brain cells, guys. Like, I tell you what, absolutely disgusting platform. 
So this woman met her uh, her boyfriend, husband, whatever on Twitter, and we started chatting in November. I wasn't new to the idea of online dating, but I had just hit the big four zero. So I wanted to try a different approach, doing the opposite of what I felt were unhelpful dating tendencies. Again, guys, like I have to restate this. If you get to 40, year old, 40 years old as a woman and nothing has gone seriously amiss in terms of your partner's health, your husband's health, you are a failure at dating. I'm just going to be open, okay? Like, uh, uh, like, and a lot of it comes down to girls' inability to lower their standards beyond what's reasonable. Yeah, that's really what it is. Like, their, their standards are literally their worst enemy. Uh, be upfront and honest. Stop when this sounds familiar. You meet someone, start corresponding, and it's calm, cool, and casual. Depending on the platform, there's an unspoken understanding about what you're looking for. No judgment. Single parents need bedroom fun, too. After a few dates uh, and late night phone calls into the wee hours, you uh, you ask where things are heading and he replies, he's not looking for anything serious. You say, that's cool, neither am I, except that's not true. I'm not dating just for fun and since I have a child, that's especially true. However, that's why I learned it's important to date for you first. Guys, let's let's take a moment here. Okay, let's look at this. I'm not dating for just fun, and since I have a child, that's especially true. Guys, these girls who, you know, we're, we're moving a little bit away from just the dating at 40 kind of, uh, kind of pathway here, but girls who are dating at 40, especially as single parents, you've got to ask the question, guys, where are the other men in this girl's life? You know, where's, where's her husband? Where's the father of the child? That's the biggest question. Now, I can understand if, like, there were some health issues, guys, like, those situations really suck, okay? So don't think I'm trying to take away from those situations or say that they don't exist at all. Sometimes the dude's not around literally because he cannot be, okay? And I totally get that. But for the most part, guys, a lot of dudes are not around. Um, not as a result of health health issues, but because A, they get shoved out of the family unit. That's a huge one that everyone seems to not want to talk about. Man, I see so many dudes, they love their kids, they want to see their kids, but the woman refuses to let them see their kids. So that's option number number one. Number two, the girl chooses a guy who is clearly not going to stick around. Okay? Or, or like, or... I'm so sick. I don't know how much I can say of this on YouTube, man. Uh, but girls always act as though, you know, dudes are the ones necessarily being unsafe. I tell you what, guys, girls can go out here and insist on being unsafe as well. Now, obviously, I have to kind of dance, dance uh, around language here, guys. But, you know, to come up with the idea that men are the only ones going around here being unsafe is absolutely ridiculous, guys. Absolutely ridiculous. Like... If you're a dude and you're out there dating, you will perfectly well know that girls will insist on being unsafe. You will perfectly well know that. Guys, never agree to it, okay? Huge risk to have, but anyway, it's always just very interesting to note how these girls will be like, I have a kid, so now I'm dating with a purpose. Yeah, you're looking for a meal ticket. You're not looking for someone that you actually care about. And that's one of the most disgusting things about dating. But guys, before we continue with this article, uh, I was meaning to bring up today's Patreon question. So this is a bit of a, you know, I'm going to give the dude a little bit of a flack for this one for not just answering it immediately by himself. But let's take a look at this question right here. And this was submitted in by someone with the initials SR. I won't be uh, leaking people's names on the show, guys. Um, but let's have a look. Today's Patreon question is, my friend's girlfriend keeps acting like she's interested in me. Should I tell him? Uh, the answer is yes. The, the answer is absolutely yes, guys. A lot of, a lot of dudes, um, uh, girlfriends, and let me put it to you guys this way. Relationships, especially relationships in general, are not as rock solid as people would like them to believe. And hell, even if they are rock solid, why would you want your friend, you know, dealing with that level of disrespect? Okay, if somebody's going to tell him it's got to, it, you know, might as well be his friend. And if that ruins the friendship, so be it. The relationship will collapse inevitably at the end anyway. And, uh, you know, chances are you guys can, you can have that talk afterwards. But the point is, guys, is a lot of girls are in relationships and they're still out here acting as though they're not 
right? They'll still give the side eye to the dude's friends and stuff like that. A lot of girls, what will happen, guys, if, if you're a dude who's successful, you've got your stuff together, maybe around, you know, you're around high level individuals, I guess, for lack of better words, right? higher net worth dudes maybe dudes who hit the gym the combination of those two things a lot of girls will actually get in relationships with men to have further access to those groups of men like i wish i was kidding guys but i t i tell you what girls will literally go to um what are they called men university classes for law med school and stuff like that literally just to find dudes um who are well off financially so please don't put it past these girls to be out here you know manipulating their ways through friend groups now obviously not every girl is going to do this guys okay before we get the all police come to the channel like taylor said all girls are going to do this like shut up bro i didn't say all girls are going to do that all right so for the all police that come to the channel um but look yeah tell your boy okay tell your friend you know be a, be a good guy about it you know bros before the 304s as the saying goes so thank you very much for submitting in that patreon question but let's continue uh, with this article i was meaning to pull it up beforehand but i'm an absolute goose about it so let's continue with the article here date for you first i've been a single parent from the onset so my son had never seen me date anyone yet another um young man going to grow up without a father guys like we cover a lot of bullcrap on the show like i'll be completely honest with you we cover a lot of unpleasant things a lot of things that you know we can turn them into jokes if we want like haha these girls getting over 40 and they they haven't find it, found a dude a lot of you guys find that hilarious and to a degree i find that pretty funny too okay but uh here's the thing i don't find stuff like this funny man i i don't find um kids growing up without fathers i don't find that particularly funny like a lot of you guys probably watching this right now you've grown up without a father figure in the household statistically there's just a good chance of that happening or you know your father is uh, i don't you know i don't mean to uh call anybody out here guys but quite weak you know maybe your mother runs the relationship and that you know that really had its toll um but e either way guys like i don't find i don't find removing men from the household particularly funny for anyone right especially on children i i don't like that at all man but let's continue when he turned six, he really struggled with... Wow, would you look at that? I haven't even read this, man. Look at this. When he turned six, he really struggled with not having a father, and I had to learn to manage his emotions and the guilt I felt at not being able to order one and place him under the tree for Christmas. Yeah, this was supposed... You know, this is something that you were supposed to sort far earlier on. Okay? Man, I didn't even... I, I kid you not, guys. I didn't even read that next sentence. That's so sad, man. It's easy to fall into the trap of dating for the sake of finding a parent for your child, but first, I have to date with the mindset of finding myself a partner. I don't need to know in the first three dates if he'll be good for them. I need to know if they'll be good for me, which leads me to my next point. Trust your instincts. When my child was born, I activated the parental instinct gene, the one that senses a disturbance in the force when they are a little too quiet, but this superpower works for datings too. Dating too yeah see that's really concerning to read because it sounds as though she might be positioning it in such a way like it, it sounds as though she's saying when the child was born i kicked out the father that's what it, that's what that sounds like to me maybe i'm reading a bit too much into it but let me know what you guys think uh the superpower works for dating too i've made sure to pay close attention to the little things that make a difference when looking for long-term love are they quick to temper are they open to learning are they rigid and inflexible i have the head uh start in parenting with my child which they don't have so i'm also patient with them i've learned to take my time because i've taken my next point to heart there is no schedule some schools of thought say to introduce the kids early in the relationship to get them used to a new person others say to wait an indefinite amount of time to ensure your romantic relationship is solid my son and partner was supposed to meet over march break and then a little uh, p word broke out until recently they chatted using video chat apps and finally met this summer I had a lot of anxiety heading into the trip because I wasn't, wasn't sure how he would do with having kid-friendly foods and an early riser in the house for two weeks. How would my son react to me cuddling up to another man? And how would I manage both of their feelings and my own? But that first meeting was everything I hoped it would be and more. I don't like situations like this, guys. I, I, I really don't. And again, look, I've got to rehash this particular point. If it's a, if you, if, you know, if a girl is a single mother as a result of health issues, right, the guy can literally no longer be there. Fine. 
makes sense. I'll give him that, okay? But a lot of these situations are not a result of that, guys. They're a result of the girl, you know, kicking men out of the family. And, you know, when girl... And I didn't mean to turn this into, like, a single parent episode because the woman is also over 40. This is true of a lot of girls who get to 30 and 40 and stuff like that, guys. A lot of them have children. A lot of them are not looking for... They're not looking for people, you know, for a loving relationship. They're looking for maybe something to last, sure. But they're looking for a dude who's a meal ticket, who's going to, you know, just be there for their life. Like, if you look at the words that that woman chose when she was writing that article, guys, it was, you know, who's the guy who's going to meet my needs? And emphasis on the word needs, guys. It's about what I need, what do I need in my life? Not about what the guy wants or what the guy needs or anything like that. Hell, we've gotten to the point in society where we straight up try and bully dudes into relationships at this point. Because uh, I tell you what, guys, marriage and long-term commitment is on its way out. And the girls are going to be the ones uh, really suffering at the end of this. But, you know, maybe a point that I want to talk about in future videos as well, guys, and something that I've kind of missed out on uh, talking about as well is the fact that a lot... Look, the, we all know the course that this runs, okay? These girls get to this age, they look for the man, they can't find a man, they cry about it and whatever. Meanwhile, in their 20s, they're absolutely ignoring dudes who would be willing to treat them well. Um, the thing is, a lot of guys are participating in a society that does not give a crap about them. And what I mean, guys, is, you know, these, these girls, like, gone are the days of having a stable relationship, for example, in your 20s. Right, the majority of dudes um, are not out here having relationships. The top few percentage of men are having older girls, and the the part about that is is like there used to be a time where family was at the center of people's universes, guys. But that's just been thrown out the window, uh, along with fathers in households, and a lot of guys don't really have a purpose in society anymore, right? Like a long time ago, family used to be purpose. You would go out, you would have those long grinding days working hard for the purpose of your family. Now, like family is is an absolute joke. And I don't say that as a personal opinion. That's just what society has turned it into. And here we are, guys, where a lot of dudes are just like, you know what? Why would I participate in a society that, that couldn't give a crap about me? Which is really hard to argue with, to be honest with you. Uh, let's continue uh, on here. Communication is key. I've learned that from the onset, you have to know where you stand, what your potential future partner has the capacity for, and how to prepare your child. I hid my partner from my son for the first few months of his talking because I had no idea what I was doing. Wow, you don't say. Once it became clear that he was the one, I found small ways to integrate him into our lives. I wanted my son to understand who he was to me and who... Uh, he may become to him. I gave him an opportunity to ask questions and most importantly said that if he doesn't like him at first, it is okay. My son needed to know that he wasn't being misplaced or replaced by a new person and no matter the age, I would make sure to explicitly tell him that. In the end, we took steps towards becoming the family I've always envisioned when I was in the pool swimming through plenty of fish or swiping left. And like most things with parenting, there's not only one right way to do things. Excuse me, wait, wait, wait. There's not only one right way to date as a single parent. So above all else, be honest and true to you. The rest will bumble its way into place. Yeah, guys, because that's what we should be doing with family units and dating, guys. Just going out there making 50 million mistakes because who the hell cares, right? Uh, you know, we're not uh, interfering with anybody's lives along the way. And guys, like, just to wrap up, again, I have no sympathy for these girls. Absolutely none, right? A lot of these girls, they get to this certain age and they think that they're still going to be able to find a man who is going to take them seriously. Absolutely not. But guys, we're going to be leaving today's episode there. As always, make sure to leave your thoughts and your comments to some of the things that we have covered today. Uh, and as always, guys, make sure you take care of yourselves and I'll be seeing you boys in the next episode. Peace.